Hey everyone, UFO grifters want us to believe that our current understanding of physics cannot explain UFOs, and they say things like we need new physics to explain UFOs. Well, that's complete rubbish. Now, let me read for you from chapter 4 of my book, which is titled Logical and Scientific Explanations for the UFO slash UAP Phenomenon, uh, as an example of how that's rubbish. Okay, so chapter 4 of my book is The Sonic Boom Mystery, and this is what I write. A sonic boom, as it is understood, is the sound created by shockwaves formed when an object, such as a fighter jet, exceeds the speed of sound. <clears throat> the lack of a sonic boom from supersonic UFOs is something that has fascinated me for, so, for quite some time. According to physics, sound is a form of energy. Therefore, a sonic boom is a form of energy. When an object travels through the air, it displaces air in its path, transferring energy and linear momentum to the air molecules as it does so. Now, linear momentum is the mass uh, multiplied by the velocity of the object or substance. Um, where was I? Oh, yes. The, the energy gained by the air molecules is kinetic energy, the energy due to motion. In fact, sound is a form of kinetic energy. Of course, the object itself also has kinetic energy. The formula for kinetic energy is half the mass of the object multiplied by the square of its velocity, half m times v squared. If a UFO has its mass reduced to a very low amount, then it effectively has a low amount of kinetic energy and linear momentum even if it travels faster than the speed of sound, Mach 1. One of the fundamental laws of physics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change from one form to other forms. This is known as the law of conservation of energy. Therefore, if a UFO traveling through the air has a low amount of kinetic energy, it has a low amount of kinetic energy to convert into sound energy. In other words, a very weak sonic boom, which likely won't be heard, will probably be created. Examples of kinetic energy calculations can be found in Appendix B. I frankly think that this is a fairly straightforward physics explanation for why UFOs apparently don't create a sonic boom when exceeding the speed of sound. Now let's consider air resistance and drag acting on a UFO. And that's it. Uh, so in my book I go into detail about how uh, the mass of the UFOs is reduced using a very strong alternating electric fields. That's in chapter 11 of my book. So I hope you will consider buying my book and seeing how you've been manipulated and gaslighted. And if you decide you don't like my book, you can always refund it and get your money back. So that's the good thing about it. Um, and that's it. And I hope uh, this video has been helpful to you. Thank you.